The Allagash, uh, many people call it a gem. Must do for almost anybody who loves the canal. Well, it's been described as a uh, vein that flows through the heart of Maine. But you don't hear logging. You don't hear any noise at all, except for maybe like a Boy Scout troop that might be a little rowdy down at another campsite, but other than that, it's quiet. And there's a lot of history to the Allagash. It goes way back to, uh, to Thoreau. The Mud Pond Carry, of course, is one of the historical ways of getting into the Allagash. That's how Henry David Thoreau went when he did the trip, was cross Mud Pond Carry. At the beginning, though, uh, they, they would think that Thoreau was a nut. And it's not a lot of fun. Uh, it hasn't been improved, and it's always wet, no matter in the driest time of year. It's a very deep rut from the amount of traffic that's gone over that. Uh, but there are a number of people that want to do the historical route so they can get that feel of what it must have been like before the advent of the vehicles we have today and the, and the road network we have today up there. And I think it's important that it remains that way. Because again, it's that part of that sense of accomplishment. Sometimes when things aren't easy, is what you remember the most. And the rapids are not that hard. Chase Rapids is class two to three whitewater. The worst part's the first mile and a half. The rapids is actually five miles long. Allagash Rangers will take your gear in a shuttle and for a fee around the rapids. And so you can run it with an empty boat and that makes it a little bit easier. They might slip over and hurt their pride a little bit, but besides that, it's a good family trip. Take your time, enjoy it. Enjoy the beauty that's there. You're not going to find too many places like that anywhere. I feel like if you go to the Allagash, you're almost guaranteed to see a moose. It was unbelievable, and I don't know. I have never experienced a wildlife experience like that since then.